Stop lying to yourself. You need to first admit that you are a lazy person. If you don't do anything and you're too lazy, your life is not going to be what you want it to be. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to stop being lazy. So if you're someone that's out there and you tend to be a little bit lazy, if you're not getting things done that you need to, or if you tend to procrastinate too much, I'm gonna give you my strategies on how to make sure that you stop being lazy. So the first tip that I'm gonna give you before we dive into like the actual meat and potatoes of exactly how to do it, is to stop lying to yourself. You need to first admit that you are a lazy person because all too often I see people that are lazy, they're not getting the stuff done that they need to, and then ultimately what they do, oh yeah, well, you know, I'm just, I've got stuff going on, and they make excuses for everything of, to the reason why they're not achieving the goals they want, why they don't have the life that they want, when in reality, the thing they need to do is just admit that what the real issue is, is that they're lazy, and they're a procrastinator, and they don't have plans put in place. So the first thing you need to do is to admit to yourself to fully be transparent and say, you know what? I do have a problem with laziness. It's the same way that if somebody is an alcoholic and they go through a 12 step program, the very first thing to do is to admit that so that they can overcome it. Because once you admit it, then you can start to work through it. And that's the important thing is to realize that, that humans are inherently lazy more than anything else. If you were to just go back in, in 100,000 years ago, 200,000 years ago and see our ancestors, I don't think that they were just working all day long. If I were to make a guess, if they're in the middle of the desert and it's really hot outside and it's 101 degrees, they're probably under a tree in the shade hanging out because they hunt in the morning and then they hunt in the evening and then during the day they're just sitting around and sitting in the shade most likely. So I think being lazy is inherently inside of humans. So for you to not be lazy is kind of going against what you actually would be doing as a typical human if you weren't born in a Western world like we are now with you know, Instagram and Facebook and all of these things. So uh, when you realize that we are inherently lazy and you admit, okay, I am a lazy person. I have been lazy. It is my fault. It's no one else's fault. It's no one, no one outside of me's fault. It's nothing externally. It's 100% me and you stop blaming anybody else or anything else and you take full 100% responsibility then you can start actually taking steps to overcome that laziness that you have. So that's the first tip. Make sure that you admit it to yourself. Stop lying to yourself. Be 100% transparent. The second tip that I'm gonna give you is to take your goals and make sure that all of your goals are bite-sized. And I don't mean take your goals and make them smaller. What I mean is take your goals and take the time frame. So if you have, for instance, let's say you wanna make $100,000 this year, and that's the goal for the year. If you look at that, you've never made $100,000, there's a part of you that that scares. There's a part of you that that's outside of your comfort zone, and you're not really sure how you feel about it. Like you wanna make the $100,000, but there's a part of you that's kind of, if we're being honest, you're kind of scared shitless of making that 100,000. Because what do you have to do? How hard do you have to work? How much more time do you have to put into it? So if you're looking at the number and you're saying, okay, this is a long-term goal over the next year, that's 365 days, right? That's a decent amount of time from right now. So when you look at it that way and you say, okay, I need to take these and make these more bite size. What does that mean? I need to take that $100,000 goal and I need to figure out how to take that $100,000 goal and make it smaller, make it so it's more bite size. So let me give you an example. Let's say that you're a sales rep and your goal is to make $100,000 this year. Okay. Well, now that we have the goal of $100,000, we've got that figured out. If you break down your numbers, which every sales rep should know their numbers, how many you know, sales they get, depending on how many appointments that they have, how many phone calls they need to make in order to get an amount of, a certain amount of appointments, and you look through and you say, okay, if I'm looking at my long-term goal of how much money I wanna make this year, $100,000, and I say, okay, over the next year, that means weekly, I need to make sure that I'm doing 100 calls per week. If I just do 100 calls per week, Statistically, I should make $100,000 this year. Automatically, doesn't that already feel better? Because I'm not focusing on the entire year. All I'm doing is I'm focusing on this week. So I know what needs to be done. Okay, let's take it another step further. If I look at that and I say, okay, if I work for five days and it's 100 calls a, day, 100 calls a week, that's 20 calls a day. I mean, I can focus on 100, 100, 100 calls a week, 20 calls a day. And if I just do my 20 calls a day and I only focus on just that one goal, statistically, I'll make $100,000. Isn't that a lot easier? 
Because then you're taking something that's really far away and really big and making it really close and really small. 20 calls a day. I can do that. If I'm working for the next eight hours, what is that? Like two and a half calls an hour? I can do two and a half calls in an hour. That's super easy. So take whatever goals that you're going for and make them more bite size. And the thing about it is because of the fact that they're bite size, you're more likely to hit little tiny goals throughout the day, which motivates you to then work harder, right? So if you're lazy, the reason why this is important is because if I go, oh, I'm gonna make $100,000 this year, that's really far away. But if I go, I only need to make two and a half calls this hour, then what happens? I make two and a half calls this hour, you know, three calls this hour, and I go, holy crap, I'm ahead. And it actually makes me feel better because I have little teeny tiny checkpoints that I'm hitting. And each time I hit a checkpoint, what happens? I gain confidence. And when I gain confidence and I feel like I'm moving and progressing towards the goal that I want to go for and the life that I want to create, it actually gives me more drive and more motivation towards that goal, which is more, more than likely going to make me less lazy. So take all of your goals, all of your big goals, and just make them smaller. Figure out a way to chunk them down a little bit. It's the easiest way to do it. If you sit down to eat a meal, you don't eat the entire meal. You eat the meal one bite at a time. So stop worrying about the entire meal and just worry about each and every bite, each and every day that you have. So that's number two, is to take your goals and make them smaller because then you're going to hit more checkpoints, which is going to then make you excited to keep working harder towards your goal. Step number three is to figure out what your why is. If you don't, if you're, if you're too lazy, the reason why is because you just really don't care enough about your goals. But if you can figure out exactly what you want and why you want it, it makes it much easier to go for it. So let me give you a very drastic example, but it's my favorite example because it shows everybody they can do whatever they want. So one of my favorite things to do when I'm giving a speech and, and I start to talk about this is I'll go into a group of people and I say, hey, everybody here. What is the actual percentage chance that you're going to make a million dollars in the next 12 months legally? What's the chance that you make a million dollars in the next 12 months legally? Who's gonna, who has over a 5% chance? And I raise my hand and nobody ever raises their hand. Who has a 1% chance of making a million dollars legally in the next 12 months? And like a couple people raise their hand. And then I say, who thinks that there's a 0% chance of you making a million dollars over the next 12 months legally? and everybody raises their hand. They think there's a, almost everybody thinks there's a 0% chance. And I go, okay, I'm gonna take that exact same goal and I'm gonna shift it around a little bit and see if we can shift the way that you believe in yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna say, what's the percentage chance of you making a million dollars this year legally? And if you don't, everybody that you love is killed. And I raise my hand and say, who's, who think, what's the percentage chance? 100%, 100%, 100%, 1,000%, 10,000%. 10, Everybody goes from 0% chance to 100% chance. Now, why is that? The goal didn't change. The time frame didn't change. What changed is they actually give a damn about the goal. That's what changed, right? There's a why behind the goal. If everybody that you love gets killed, there's no such thing as laziness right? You'll wake up early. You won't make excuses. You'll get everything that you need to get done. And you won't, you probably wouldn't even look at Instagram or Facebook throughout the entire year. There would be no way that you're lazy over the next year. If everyone that you love's life depends on it for you to make a million dollars legally, you would figure out a way. So what does that show you? You're not just lazy. You're lazy because you don't love what you're doing. You're lazy because you're not fully tied into exactly what it is that you're trying to create. It's not that it's not possible. It's 100% possible. It's 100% possible for everybody listening to me right now somehow to figure out a way to make a million dollars in the next year. But the problem is, it's not that you don't have enough time. It's that you just don't care enough. And that's the main issue. So how do you make yourself care more? You've got to have a really, really, really strong why. So if you figure out what your goals are and you figure out what your why is, laziness doesn't exist anymore. You'll get up and work when your why is strong enough to figure out why it is that you're working towards what you're working. So that's the third thing is to find your why behind all of your goals. That'll get you past your laziness. Number four is to remove the distractions. Here's the thing that I know. When you're being lazy, I guarantee you're not just sitting on your couch and just staring up at your ceiling the entire time, right? What are you doing? You're keeping yourself busy in some sort of way. If I were to guess 99% of the people listen to this, when you're 
being lazy, you're probably either watching something on TV or you're on your phone. I don't think there's anything else that people are really doing besides that. You're not just staring up at the clouds and watching the clouds pass by and that's your quote unquote laziness. What's happening is you're figuring out another way to distract yourself so that you don't do the thing that actually needs to be done. So if you can remove that distraction, then you're more likely to just go ahead and go, all right, well, shit, I got nothing else to do. I might as well go ahead and do it. So what's a big way to do this? Take your phone and put it in the other room. If you got something important to do, if you have something that needs to get done, take your phone and put it in the other room. Turn off all of your notifications on your phone. For some of you guys, that scares you. Turn off all of your notifications. Take your freaking Apple Watch off. That's the biggest. I have an Apple Watch and the only time I ever wear it is, I wear, is when I work out because I just don't even want to have all of those distractions. So turn your Apple Watch distractions off. Turn your phone distractions off. The only way, like for me, I'll, I'll be completely honest with you. The only way that you can get a hold of me on my phone is if you call me. If you send me a text message, my phone doesn't light up. Nothing lights up. The only time it lights up is when I get a phone call. Not when I get an email. Not when I get a Facebook message. Not when I get an Instagram message. Not when I get somebody that likes one of my photos. Nothing. No, no way would I ever have notifications get in the way of what I'm truly trying to do. So turn off all of your notifications on your phone. Next, turn off all of your notifications on your computer. Your computer should have all of your notifications off as well. I don't want to know every time someone sends me an email. I check my email once every two to three days. I don't want to know. There's no way because that's going to pull me from everything that I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? So I don't want to focus on that. There's no way that I want to focus on those things. So I'm going to remove as many distractions as I possibly can. How do I remove as many distractions as I possibly can? Turn off my freaking notifications. Put my phone in the other room. Let everyone know that you're about to go do something. So like, for instance, when I'm planning my episodes, I planned this episode earlier today. I tell my girlfriend, hey, I'm going to go plan some episodes. I plan three episodes in a row. What do I do? I take my phone. I put it in the other room. I get onto my computer that has no distractions on it. I put my headphones in. I tell my girlfriend, hey, I'm going to go and start, uh, start planning some episodes. She knows to leave me alone for the next two hours because that's what's going to get me focused. Because if I break my focus, it makes it easier for me to go back to doing nothing. So I'm trying to get myself into the zone so I can literally go, okay, I'm in the zone. Now I'm going to stop being lazy. Now I'm going to do exactly what needs to be done. So just stop freaking, turn, turn your Netflix off. D delete your Netflix account. Delete your Facebook account. Delete your Instagram. Delete all of those things and see if you're still lazy because you're not going to have shit to do. It's the truth, right? Like if you get rid of Instagram, Facebook, whatever else there is, Twitter and, you know, Snapchat. Some people I think still use Snapchat and, you know, TikTok. And now there's this new thing called Clubhouse. You delete all of those and you delete your Netflix and your Hulu and all of those things. If you're being lazy, the only thing you're doing is you're sitting outside watching the grass grow. So if you're being lazy, you're probably distracting yourself in another way. So what are those distractions? Write them down with a pen and paper and get rid of those freaking distractions. So that's number five or number four. And then number five, the last one is my favorite thing is just the Pomodoro technique. The Pomodoro technique says, I'm going to work for 25 minutes and then I'm going to take five minutes off. You can do anything for 25 minutes right? Anything. You can figure out a way to just work for 25 minutes. So you say, all right, screw it. I'm being lazy. I can notice that I'm being lazy. I'm admitting to myself that I'm being lazy. I need to get this thing done. All right. So what am I going to do? I'm going to get my computer. And what am I going to do? Uh, next to my computer, I'm going to have a pen and paper and I'm going to write down whatever it is that pops up into my head because I've got one task, only one task that I can do for the next 25 minutes. I'm going to put my headphones in. I'm going to listen to you know, I always listen to music on YouTube. I look up a focused binarial beat song. It's like three hours long and I just put it on. So therefore there's no music, there, there's music. There's no sounds that could come into my ears except for just this music. I'm in control of the sounds that are coming in. And then there's no words inside of the song as well. If there's no words inside the song, there's nothing to distract me. And I can start thinking about the lyrics like I do. So I don't have that to distract me. And I go, okay, the only thing that I can do for the next 25 minutes is this one task. And if you give your brain no other options, you'll realize that your brain can get hyper-focused. And if you are sitting there and a great idea comes into your head, instead of going and putting that somewhere, all you have to do is take your pen and paper and write that on the journal that's next to you. And you focus on just one thing for 25 minutes. You'll be surprised how much you can get done being hyper-focused with no distractions, with no notifications coming in, with no external sounds, how much you can get done in literally just 25 minutes. It's kind of crazy. 
you're way more efficient than you actually realize. When those 25 minutes is, you're done with those 25 minutes, you take a five minute break. That's it. Super simple. Take a five minute break and you could go on Instagram. You can go to the bathroom. You can go stare at clouds passing in the sky. Do whatever you want for those five minutes. You're completely done working for those five minutes. And then what do you do? You go back in and you do another 25 minutes and you only have one task to work for. It's really not that hard. Being lazy is a really easy thing to pull yourself out of. You just have to be aware, you have to admit it, and you have to make a plan and you have to have a really strong why. And if you do that, it will pull you out of your laziness so that you can start to get shit done. Because I'm telling you this, if you don't do anything and you're too lazy, your life is not going to be what you want it to be. So in order to build the life that you want, follow these steps, pull your ass out of laziness and get to work. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. If you want to learn even more about mastering your mind, click right here and watch this video as well. Good morning, everybody. Today's going to be a beautiful day. I'm just so excited. I don't want to do it today. I just, I'm just not 100% into it.